In Shawnee, Oklahoma, there is a diamond in the rough, so to speak, with the Maybe Gear Museum of Art. It is most notable for the only mummies in the state, but there's so much more to see and learn at this one-of-a-kind museum. I sat down with Daylin Trim, the curator of collections, to give viewers on their smartphones a chance to immerse themselves into their collection. So the Maybe Gear Museum of Art is an encyclopedic museum, which means we have things from all sorts of cultures from around the world, uh, from ancient Egyptians, Greek and Roman artifacts, medieval, Renaissance, all the way to modern art, in addition to art and artifacts from the, uh, the continent of Africa and um, South America, pretty much anywhere in the world we've got a little bit of uh, art and artifacts from there. So I know you have some special ones. I'm going to ask you to tell me about the mummy a little bit. Some, some sure. So, so our Egyptian collection is uh, one of our big draws. Uh, our stars of our uh, Egyptian collection are two Egyptian mummies. They're both female. Uh, one is Tutu. She's the most well-known of them. She's the one with the gold face. Uh, and then the other one is Nebis. And so that's uh, actually finding out her name is something we just recently found out. So we're constantly doing research on our uh, art and artifacts in our collection. And so uh, back in 2015, we actually had both of our mummies uh, CT scan with a 64 slice CT scanner at St. Anthony's Hospital here in Shawnee. And so we've had researchers looking at her. And um, right now, uh, this is the leading uh, part of the field in Egyptology, the 64 slice scan. Uh, there's only a few of them that have been done on mummies, and so our our mummies are kind of the leading ones right now for this. So uh, we took the uh, CT scan for the Tutu, and we're actually getting a facial reconstruction done of her. So in the fall, we're going to be able to see what Tutu actually looked like. Ooh, so how is that going to be? Is that like a going to be on a screen? Are you going to print it off? Like what's the exhibit going to change? It's actually been uh, created. So what happened was um, someone took the the CT scans and actually was able to 3D print her skull, so her exact skull. And then they used the traditional techniques of of clay and the markers and building up the face and coating that with latex. So that's what actually uh, we're going to be seeing this more uh, lifelike image of, of Tutu. But um, it's uh, based on her actual skull, which is very cool that this technology has has grown so far. Yeah, just technology. You're using everything, like 3D printer, to tell something that happened so, so long ago. That's pretty cool. Didn't you have a Picasso here? We do actually have a uh, Picasso print. Uh, It's a a, a print of a a woman. It is kind of a a line drawing, kind of simplistic, but actually very beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Jacqueline, I believe, is the name. Oh, awesome. Um, Do you have anything in back that you're like, you know what, this is really my favorite thing in the museum, but it's so delicate or so different that we don't have anywhere to put it. Is there is there ever a time that those come out from the, the back room? They do. So um, only about 3% of our collection is out at any one time, which means about 95, I mean 97% of our collection is in storage. So these pieces do come out into our permanent gallery sometimes, but mainly they come out for our temporary exhibits. So every summer we have an exhibit entirely from our permanent, permanent collection and then uh, usually we have at least another exhibit that uh, relies on some pieces from our permanent collection so we get to pull these pieces out let people see them sometimes they're pieces people have never seen or haven't seen in a very long time so that's always exciting that's awesome okay one last question What's what's your favorite piece and they, if you had to only pick one, there was a fire, and you could, which would be awful. What would be your favorite piece? Well, I think one of my favorite pieces, uh, it's not actually on exhibit right now, but probably one of my favorites in the collection is an oriental rug that actually has a image of a man on a horse, and then it has two figures that are walking, um, and then a dog tied to a tree in the background. So that's, that's just kind of one of the unusual aspects of it. So if you are ever in Shawnee, Oklahoma, and want to see a collection from around the world, stop by the Maybe Gare Museum.